Hey, so I'm in the, the finishing part of making this painting and it's a part I really enjoy and I've already found a few things that I wasn't happy with. So one thing was that this line here and this line here came straight down and they took the viewer's eye straight off the painting. So I've just allowed that to curve up a little bit and I've allowed that one to curve up a little bit too. And I'm really pleased with what that did. In this painting, I've used the brand new Arts Tree Ripples stencil to bring the surface of the water in and then also to knock back. I had an edge here that it just wasn't sitting right and so I obscured it with some more of those ripple patterns with a uh, really dark Payne's Grey texture paste. So I had it up on my kitchen wall for about two weeks because that's my preferred spot to put things because I'm going to see it a thousand times a day and maybe be able to figure out what's not quite working yet. And I've realised that what was not quite working was that when you build a textured painting, the textures that you build create shadows as the light falls on them from, generally speaking, the overhead lights in your house. And so my shadows in here aren't telling the story I need them to tell. They're not talking about the frilliness of this wave as it comes over and breaks with all those little frothy bits. So what I'm going to do now is I'll put some texture paste with some titanium white in a bag and I'll pipe some of those little frilly edges on there. And what I might also do is put just the tiniest little thread of lemon yellow in that bag as well because white is actually quite cold and where I want things to come forward more than the white I need to warm them up a little bit. I've already used Naples yellow in here to just because because there was just too much blue and too much white and I needed something else but I think a tiny touch of lemon in there will really help that curve of the wave as it comes forward. So I think I'll do that thing right now. So here's my bag of white with just a little lemon yellow in it. And here goes nothing. So I want to leave this side sharp so it casts a shadow and I want to bring in and soften down this top side so that it melds into the wave more.
That ought to do it. I need to get it back up on the easel now so that I can see what I've actually done. And I think that's about right. It may be slightly too yellow. If it is when it dries, I'll just dry brush a little bit of titanium white across the top rather than add on more white texture paste now because I don't want it to get super, super chunky. Texture paste loses about a third of its volume as it dries. So I think that will bring it down to precisely where I wanted it. Fingers crossed, hey?